Hello and welcome to another Moog demo library. In today's video, we're going to be exploring Muse, and in particular, we're going to be looking at the quick assign buttons found all over the panel. If you look at any of the modulation sources like the envelopes or the assignable controllers or LFO 1, 2 or the pitch LFO, they all have a dedicated assign button. And the reason that's on the panel is to be able to quickly assign modulation without looking at the mod map. So if you're in the flow of designing a patch and you don't want to think too hard about all of the specifics of the modulation routings, this can be a nice way to not interrupt that flow. So I'm going to begin with a simple initialized patch. It's just a single oscillator sawtooth patch with a wide open filter and a little bit of release and we can hear how that sounds. And what I want to do is actually use aftertouch to control vibrato on this patch. So for this example, I'm going to use the aftertouch quick assign button and I'm going to be looking at the pitch LFO section. So I'm going to begin by assigning oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 to be controlled by the pitch LFO. Uh, and then let's listen to how vibrato sounds on its own first. And so you'll notice that this amount attenuverter in the pitch LFO box is able to control how much depth of modulation is happening. And if I set it to a negative value, I can actually invert the phase of the LFO if that's desired. Uh, and so what I want to do is actually use aftertouch to control this knob. So I'm going to go over to the assignable controller section and I'm going to hit the AT button. Now what that does on the screen is it brings up the modulation quick assign view. And so you'll see that on the left side of the screen, it says source and it lists aftertouch. And then the destination on the right side is listed as none. And what Muse is telling you right now is to turn the knob on the panel that you want to modulate with aftertouch. So in this case, we're going to look at the amount knob in the pitch LFO section. I'm going to turn it so that I get a positive modulation around 50%. And I'm going to hit enter. So now I did that without looking at the mod map. But if I view the mod map, I can see that my slot one has been created with a modulation routing. And I can see that the source is aftertouch. The destination is the pitch LFO amount, and I have it set to 50.08%, which is what we saw on the quick assign screen. So let's hear how that sounds. So you can hear, I can do something similar where I'm turning vibrato on and off, but now I don't need to move that knob at all. I can just do it from a key press. And so once I'm in the modulation routing, let's say I don't like the depth that I set when doing my quick assign, it's still easy to edit once on the mod map screen. And I can just go over to the destination amount box. And let's say I want to set that to around 45. Now, if I want to do fine value changes, I can hold the shift down and that will let me make fine adjustments. So now let's hear how this sounds. So you can hear we just made the vibrato a little bit more subtle when controlled by aftertouch. And the next thing that I want to do is actually make the onset of vibrato happen a little bit slower than it does. So I want to make it react to my aftertouch a little bit slower than normal. And the way that I do that is if I scroll over to my function box that currently says none, and I scroll until it says slew. Now I want to make sure that my function is aimed at the source, which it currently is, and I can see that at the top of the box. But let's say I wanted to aim it at the controller, I can do that by just hitting the function destination button. And then I can also set it to control both. I can set it to control nothing. But for now, I'm going to leave it so that it controls the source. And then I'm going to go to the slew value box, and I'm going to set that to around 20. Now there's multiple functions that we can select, but in the case of slew, the higher I set the value, the longer it will take to slew. So I'm going to set this around 20. And let's hear how that sounds. So you can hear what this has done is make it so that when I engage aftertouch, the onset of vibrato is a little bit slow. And when I release aftertouch, vibrato turning off also happens slowly. Now this is just a single example and just one slot of what we can do in the modulation map. And every single timbre 
and there's two timbres per patch inside of Muse is able to control 16 different modulation routings at once. So we can get really, really deep with the modulation on the panel and pretty much turn Muse into something that feels like a digital modular synthesizer. Um, but it just sort of depends on what you wanna do and your goals in sound design when creating patches. But a really nice thing is that if I don't wanna focus on the mod map and edit something really, really deeply, I can just use my quick assign buttons and create a patch very simply that way.